Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the tiny, tiny Enclave right now. And have a good time, probably by the end of this episode, to have a small, tiny, tiny, tiny war with the NCR. So, uh, yeah, I've read some of your comments. You were very, some people were, I wouldn't say enlightened, but were conscious of the title of last episode's video. But, uh, yeah, I like the PP. Pee -pee. A lot of PP pee -pee is good for the Enclave. Especially for the Enclave PP. Pee -pee. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's so big. So much. Oh, I love it. I don't know why I'm, I'm pushing this narrative so hard, but I don't know why. Anyways, um, last time I tried to do Tank Designer with Quality PA Team. Well, actually, I guess we have two Quality PA Teams. And regardless if I try to click it or not, it doesn't even go, so whatever. Whatever happens, whatever happens. But anyways, I don't really need to spend it. So right now, so we're just really waiting for more political power. Oh, the Federation is surviving a terrible terrorist attack. This week at 11 a.m., a brutal terrorist attack was committed on the lands of the Federation of New New York. An explosion thundered in the very center of the festive event. Surviving eyewitnesses claim they entered the closed territory a minute before the explosion. A suspicious truck that was tied tried to stop by the Federation soldiers, but apparently could not do it. The gangs of New York took the responsibility. Curious. Canadian Enclave to go to war on the Highlanders of the North. That sounds really, really cool, actually. Led by Great w Wolf. Wolf. Okay, and then Enclave has way more divisions. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, that's probably going to be no contest. Factory output. Starting level. Potato farming. Cool. And I did notice that the Federation of New York is actually just this very tiny, small island Mat on Manhattan Harbor under President Catherine Montgomery. So that's actually pretty cool. They got a lot of manpower. They have up to 12,000 for a population that has 11,000. So that, I think that's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn awesome. But yeah, my goal, I think right now, I really, really could use way more infantry equipment. And I will need some more divisions. I know when we spawn this, a lot of militia units, when we have the uprisings happen in the NCR. And I'm going to use those divisions as best as I can. But... I'm just a little concerned about the number of... Ooh, Cyclops Tribes has been declared war upon by Pale Folk, which includes Vault City. So, well, actually, we have quite a bit of power armor since we got a little bit more last time. We really, really need to focus on more uh, energy weapons, but that's okay since we're still building some military factories in New Reno, and that should be pretty darn nice. And what is the max amount of political power I can have? Oh, there goes the Highlanders of the North, but... Spies compromised. We have received an emergency transmission from an espionage in the New California Republic. They claim to have been compromised and have abandoned their base of operations as a result. Days away from the border and on foot, they are asking for emergency evacuation, heroic actions, and heroic extractions, and no man left behind looks good in after-action reports, but we need to consider our operational security as a whole when deciding our response. I usually go with sent and extraction team by Vertibird, but just because I might... Ooh... Just because I like getting the extra stability, and it only costs 10 more political power, so... I don't mind getting 5% more stability if we have 100%, whatever. Um, sending out spies, it's not a bad idea. It's not great, because the longer they are there, the higher chance there is of them getting discovered. Especially if you need stability, but I obviously don't need any more. And we have the Army Patriots tutorial, and we have researched something else. What was that? No, I gotta wait for that. Tato farming. Can I do more construction yet? No, I cannot. Infantry. I want more production of stuffs. Uh, defense would be actually pretty good. We will need some more major defense for what we need. I think Fighter 1 for right now is going to be fine. Close air support should be okay. Just go and do decryption. Anyways, Army tut Patriots tutorial. We've gained the ability to arm Patriots. To do so, click on an NCR state, of course, and press Arm Patriots button, and it'll cost political power. The state will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start the California Uprising. Arming Patriots costs more political power each time it is used, and we already kind of know that. So, let's go ahead and do Old World, Civ up Old World Uprising. Um, unlocks the Old World Uprising decision. Cool. Plus five political power. Send those guys out. Hydraulic Republic. Actually, let's do this. We might lose some water, but water really doesn't matter in this mod. Let's get a little more legitimacy, because then we can do, I think, I believe, another focus. Uh, I forget. What does Californian Civil War do? Fired on by gun runners and other NCR loyalists as the California Civil War has begun. Ooh. Anyways, I want to, I will start arming Patriots in the NCR once we have the next one for this. I just want to see how much 
It should cost 175 next time. If that's the case, then we're just going to get ready for war. But with the National Spirits, I forget what this does. Is it actually a Civil War or the Old World Uprising? Um, oh, this would be good. Actually, I want to do Old World Propaganda first. Probably. Yeah, we want to do that one first. And then, yes, I did comment last time about segregation. Uh, some people said, no, you should segregate. And other people said, no, you should not segregate. My thinking is this. Ooh. This could actually help us for more war support. Uh, what did I want to do? Crack the code? Let's do this one first. Um, regarding segregation, we can equal, we can all equally treat the, I guess some would say, Untermensch, Untermensch, uh, equally, in terms of punishment and stuff like that, or we can have an outcome where everyone is equally screwed over. Now that means we can increase the punishment more to groups that deserve it more, so that we can achieve an end goal of true equality, where everyone is exactly the same, they're beaten so down and hard that they basically are dead. Anyways, Enclave arranges war for Vault Barricades 87, according to reliable sources. Enclave launched a large-scale attack on the territory of the Super Mutants, but as it turned out, the Minutemen declared war on the Mermlux of Castle. Uh, they wanted to seize only one territory, the province of Vault, 80, Vault Barricades 87, and they succeeded. Super Mutants will, take, will want to take revenge? Enclave. Where was that? Western... Okay, so the Brotherhood of Steel, the Western Brotherhood, declared war on a royal. Usually I see them just go ahead and try to join them or annex them. Oh. Vault City joined the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, then. Well, this is interesting. They have a lot of manpower. Ooh. I want to be on their good side for a while. So the Brotherhood of Steel is looking kind of thick. But then you got to think about the Northern Lake up here. The f Oh, the Forgers joined the NCR. Um, well, I mean, the Washington Brotherhood has Bone Pickers as well as Klamath in the Alliance, taking out the Troll Warren. But the NCR has Forager. Why would you ally with the Foragers? You're all the way over here. You're all the way in a different state. A soldier caught out of uniform during one of the dreaded surprise inspections. Sergeant Dornan caught a private out of the standard issue power armor. The soldier cited maintenance, but no such request was filed. Dornan wasted no time in demanding 1,000 push ups as you happen by. You know, 1,000 push ups is a lot. I can probably do like 70. Actually, I do 70 every day. But, oh, that's a lot of push-ups. But, cut the, cut the boys some slack. And 175. This is a tough one. Do I do it now? I think I should do it now. Just because we will spawn a lot of divisions because of what we do here. So, And I do have quite a bit of political power. And I really want to use as much as I can in terms of political power for uprisings. They have up to 78 divisions. I have 10. Uh, well, let's see where we end up. I need to save at least 175. And I don't mind time going on for right now. So we got one. We got Etna. We got next to the Brotherhood. We got that over there. We got that one. This will cost 125. Wow, we actually didn't get a lot of territory. That's not good, but as you spawn, if you keep doing arming patriots, you'll get the territory as well as more militia divisions per province. So that's not bad, and we have three times for this to pass by, so let's just go ahead and get it over with. Um, ooh, on old world propaganda, very nice. Uh, let's do this one, welding ranch next. Cool. Um, I forget what this does. Californian Civil War? We get the decision to do that, so I'll do that, why not? Awesome. NCR Radio, they become more oligarchic. We become more oligarchic. Or they become more oligarchic. Well, they become more techno technocratic, I should say. Awesome. Also, I do have some tea here, so I'll be drinking some tea during this time. Uh, very good on the power armor still. Actually, we haven't really been making any. Brotherhood of Steel expand their borders in New York. The Brotherhood of Steel began expanding its lands immediately after the Enclave. It seems the lands of New York will become the site of a new clash between the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave. But in the center of New York, there's a powerful organization called the Federation. If it will wait in silence when two technically developed opponents, will they come to grips with each other or will she join one side? Tss. Only time will tell, but I think the future conflict is just around the corner. Well, on that coast, there's definitely going to be a conflict. But on this coast, there's going to be a major conflict between me and the, the uh, NCR. And I will have to make sure that we do do, not just do do, but we will do the... 
Why am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Crack the code, probably with the Bishop incident, so the Desert Rangers go to war with the NCR as well. But the USSR is doing fairly well against these goddamn commies. Are doing fairly well against uh, the Republic of Victoria. Uh, they definitely have more divisions and a little bit more manpower. What? What is this? Oh, hi. Oh, who cares about that? I don't mind losing some attack initially. Just watching the world burn around me. Ugh. But at least... Ooh, the fall of the Troll War and fierce fight in the Washington Brotherhood has seized the Troll War and those mutants who were not roasted by flamers or incinerated by laser guns will look forward to a new life of slavery for the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood's ruthless conduct in this war against both the super mutants and... Ooh. Uh, their human slaves have terrified their neighbors. God dang it. Uh, many of whom now fear the Brotherhood's eyes will turn to them. I'm starting to wonder who was the worst neighbor. That is a thick Northern League. And I'm a little intimidated by them. But that's okay, because I should be. Because I only have a... 11 divisions! Nice! We actually have a power armor division. Nice. It's only 10 combat width, which is honestly a little disappointing, but I need as many divisions as possible for the front line, so whatever. Um, we could probably stage raider attacks next. I still don't have enough guns, especially since we just started making another division. Crack the code will be extremely necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more fact, uh, work, military workshops so we can actually build more things a little bit more quickly. Um, Old World Uprising. Oh, and then now basically we can go ahead and do it whenever we want to. So, no problem with that. We will probably go to war with the NCR by the end of the video, where I will probably go to war with them, so. And I'm also joined here by my cat named Binky. The Angels Apocalypse declared war on the followers of Sinona. I don't know that faction. Cool. Um, I'm going to cease aggressive tactics. We lose some attack, but I'm not attacking anybody with traditional instruction. Very nice. Uh, 0.31 years ahead. Uh, I could do that stuff. Let's get more reinforced rate. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Beth, before we go to war, I definitely want Sac City for that manpower and those resources so I can steal them away from the NCR. But that's going to cost quite a bit of political power. So, And I think... um, I think... Yeah... I think I already did this area. Did I do Welding Ranch? The Buffalo Raiders were annexed. I think I did that one too. So really, Sac City, Sacramento will be very, very important for us. I want to get as much territory as possible though, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Research speed, that's good right here. That's good right there. We definitely will need more defense from where, what we're going to do. Breakthrough and defense, ooh. But let's get some more defense for everybody. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, very nice, very good. So yeah, we have two more times to bypass in the layer of the bear, which is good for us. Besides, let's see, this. NCR took out the Scorpions. I don't believe... Oh, the USR, USSR won. The Rapids, I don't believe the NCR went to war with them yet, which is fine with me. We're going to make a lot more guns now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Crack the code stage, Raider attacks. Well, we don't have to arm... Raider gangs if we don't want to, since I probably won't, but we can use that for a little bit more political power. Or war support, I mean. Anyways. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll be at war with them by the end of this video. So, I have already done Wedding Ranch, Welding Ranch. I need to do Tumble, tumble Down Ranch. But, more importantly, actually, if I take this... If I take Point Green... Oh, I need Santa Rosa as well. I took Tahama. But yeah, Sac City, that's very important to take. Good God, I need a lot of political power now. But we got time. We've got a little bit of time, and I'm totally okay with that. Uh, we don't really need more stability, so there's really no point for me to send out spies. Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of watching the world burn as we are slowly, slowly making more uh, factories. Declared war on the old countries. Ooh, my gosh. When we're going to go to war with the Washington Brotherhood and our allies, they're going to be just massive. Ooh, marching fire, very nice. And we'll get hit and run. I love that. We lose a little bit of population, though. And organization loss when moving, but we get more max speed. I guess that's okay. But one and a half political power day, very nice. Good stuff. Time for a sip of tea. That's a little warm. That's still a little warm. I gotta get a new cup. Ugh. It looks like we might not be getting any more... Oh, we need more command power. Unassigned divisions, nice. We have a total of 12 divisions. 20 factories. Kaiser's Legion declared war on the Gente de Sol. Nice. This is actually going... Fairly decently. Go ahead and make some gunships as well. I think that would be very nice for us. And arming raiders. It has been suggested we arm the raider faction bordering the NCR. 
This would encourage them to attack NCR border towns, drawing the attention away from the bear to us. Crack the code. I'm going to do that immediately, just because you never know if we go to war with them. And this thing is running out of time. Let's see. We could arm them. In which I could lower the suspicion of the NCR to us by three by 20 for 300 guns, which I could have in the future, potentially. Or I could get more political power and war support, which is obviously the better choice in this case, because I don't care about raiders. Sorry, I don't care about them. But yeah, having one in at 1.5, 1.6 political power a day is really good for this. Oh, beautiful, tasty, delicious. Mmm. Oh, and actually, oh, because of legitimacy now, instead of disorganized remnants, then we can go for a little bit more manpower and non-core manpower with the Fools and Dreamers. But right now, we've got about 5,000. We'll have a little bit less than this in the future because of our land doctrine. But that's okay. Um, I could really use another research slot. So go ahead and... Uh, I don't want to train these guys because they're already pretty good. That's 20 combat width. You guys are... Ooh, 16. 16 combat width. No, 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 no. It's, you got to be at least 20. And that's going to hurt our gun supplies, but whatever. I, I need at least 20 combat width. Cool. Awesome. Just buy me more time. Um, honestly, I'm probably just going to get these two provinces next if I can. Just because I don't want to deal with this when the war starts on this side. I want everything just to face on one front. I think that would probably be, be easiest. And then that way I could sp spend my power armor however I want to. And the Pale Folk was puppeted. The Vault City people. Um, Vault City is allied with all these guys. Vault City actually... Okay, they had zero for a little bit. Now they have 12 to 14. Hmm... I really want Department of Defense, but we gotta wait. We're gonna prepare for expansion next. It only takes 10 days, not bad. Ah, tea. Not as good as coffee, but it can still kind of get the job done. 40 more days for this, which means 40 more days for political power. I love it. 40 more days of... Ooh. Building more thingies. Nice, prepare expansion. We can break the tribe, tribe up the Yakuza. Hmm, actually, that's not a bad idea. A show of force against Vault City. I don't want to go to war with Vault City if they're part of the Brotherhood. Like, that's a big no-no if you want to do that. Yakuza, I'll probably do that after the war is over, just because they way they have more divisions than me by far. Pale Folk, you have to fight. That's in bro the Brotherhood of Steel as well. And then the Antelope Tribes, actually. Are they? They're not allied with anybody. We could potentially take them out, actually. Uh, actually, you know what? We might just do that. With the power armor and perhaps a plane or two, we might have a chance of actually smashing the Antelope Tribes just for a few more military and civilian factories. They don't have a lot of manpower. They have some. They don't have a ton of divisions. We have, I do have a little bit more divisions than them, which is pretty good. And actually, yeah, I was thinking about justifying on them, but that wouldn't do anything for us. We've got 25 days, about 23 days. In about 26 days now, we will have a war justification, war justification to go to war with them. And hopefully I can smash them as hard and quickly. But you never know. Oh, did we just get another military factory? Yes, we did. Strange folk, all merchants passing through Diamond City say that the people began to believe strangely and a little closed. It may not mean anything. We have leather armor. But it's still strange that a whole city suddenly just went and went crazy. Alright. Uh, cool. Definitely more Brahmin milking. Milk me those cows. I love my cows. More max factories and estates. More efficiency retention and base and factory output. Federation of New York declared war on the Boxing Bandits. And the Cleveland Commune declared war on the Druids in Ohio. Oh, Ohio, you are definitely a special place. Uh, Navajo Nations join Commonwealth Gangs of New York. What is that? The Lake Erie Alliance. What is this? The Free People of the Pit. Oh, it's down here. The war between the Enclave and Brotherhood of Steel began in New York. As reported in a previous issue of the newspaper, it was only a matter of time. Twin mothers joined the Commonwealth Gangs of New York. Okay. Before these two technologically advanced countries collided with each other, and this happened in New York. We broke the tribe. The troops of the Brotherhood of Steel are mobilized, and the Enclave does not sleep, and it begins to do the same. The borders of both sides are now, and then, subjugated to shelling, but until a full-scale attack until it came. What is going on? Federation of New York. I, I have a feeling that these guys are going to be pretty influential in what happens in the future. But, you know, 
you never know what happens. Uh, we've already done most of this stuff. Oh, segregation. I I want to say, because we're doing uh, don't care about legitimacy run, segregation might just be okay, and it reduces the relevancy of legitimacy already. Welcome, Vault, Citizen, Vault City Citizens. We get a massive boost to infantry equ equipment production. We get more oligarchy. This actually might be good to wait until we want to become more and more of an oligarchy, actually. Because if I can reduce the effect of legitimacy, then that just plays straight into uh, what we need, so. Integrate scientists, Americans, one and all. Yeah, that's really nice and all, but I don't know. But anyways, let's come back over here. Is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah, there's nothing I can do over here. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it, donuts. Oh. I could do the bishop incident, but I'm going to wait for that. Hmm. Go ahead and do a show of force eventually, so. All right. Time to stop sipping on my cop. My, not my coffee, but my tea. And for you guys, I want you to go in hard and fast. Hopefully, they don't join the Brotherhood of Steel, because if they do, then... Oh. Ah, uh, you won't see this, then. Cool. Just go ahead and try to encircle these guys or something. The less divisions they have, obviously, the better. Primitive radio, very nice. Just get uh, more research speed, pretty good. Oh, the Mojave chapter wants to give us 45 basic melee weaponry. Wait. Are they using melee weaponry for the Mojave chapter? Ooh, that is questionable. Lost 12 guys, they've lost 100. That's good, good, good. we got to keep an eye on the NCRs onto us. Construction speed, uh, do resource extraction for now. The New York branch of the Brotherhood of Steel declared war on the New York branch of the Enclave. Very, very specific. Oh my goodness, look at this. Long Island is just all... Ugh. Oh, we got another division. Nice. More power armor. That's actually really cool. Now we're probably out of spare power armor. But that's alright. New York branch of the Enclave versus New York branch of the Brotherhood of Steel with the Federation of New York. Oh my goodness, there's got to be some huge lore about this that I know nothing about. Uh, we're still pretty good on stability and war support, so I feel pretty good about that. Actually. I can go to war economy. That actually would be really good, but I can save that for later. Um, how's the war going? Soldiers, border disputes, the Yakuza territories. Ooh. Have disputed the legitimacy of our border and claim that they are the rightful owner of the land. The leader, Sadao Uda, has refused contact and does not appear willing to negotiate. Although these claims are really fraudulent, they may be able to go to war on this basis in the future. Receives a claim on one of our bordering states. Well, I'm not going to click on that until we're done with this war first, so. Show of force, very nice. Drive out the Yakuza. Oh boy, if I'm going to end up in a war with the Yakuza and the NCR at the same time, that's going to be a no, 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 no for me. Come on, guys. I really don't want to give them this. Oh, God. Great Khan's declared war on New Can Canaan, huh? Interesting place to declare war upon, but alright. Y'all do you. We've lost 134, which isn't bad to their 1,000. Not bad. East Coast Exiles. To our astonishment, a group of unrecognizable vertebrates have approached our location with a legitimate Enclave call sign. They're led by a lieutenant named Schultz Exporting or Sporting Enclave Power Armor. Schultz traveled from the Raven Rock facility in the Capital Wasteland, leading a vert assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn to salvage assets from the ashes of Navarro and the rig. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us, not ruins. While news of this uh, illegitimate President Eden is troubling, most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father, and Schultz's tactical experience could be invaluable in integrating air power with the Enclave ground forces. Nice. Angels Apocalypse, and... Oh, baby. Oh, Shisa. Oh, my goodness. This is actually something I really did not want. We're probably going to end up in a two-front war. God dang it. Ooh, that is not good. And that is really, really, really not good. Alright, Power Armor guys. I need you to hurry the heck up. Wake the crap up, Samurai. Ugh. Come on, just give up, Antelope Tribes. You're not going to win. This is not good. I will actually probably have to 
postpone the war with the bear. Ugh. And have to go to war with the Yakuza family. The Yakuza tribe. Yakuza whatever they are called. Come on. You gotta break these guys somehow, some way. Uh, I have a air base. Air base. Yeah. With planes close by. That'll be good. Nice. Drive out the Yakuza. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, yeah, there is something I can do. It's something very, very important. Department of Defense get bonus for land doctrine, research slot, and army XP. Yes, please. And now we've got some gunships to help out now. That's actually pretty good for us. Yeah, these guys have got to be out of manpower by now. Yeah, they're out of manpower. They can't have enough supplies to replenish what they've taken. This is honestly a little troubling. I have to give my guys a little bit more of a boost because we can't keep doing this. Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. Even with low amounts of armor. Oh, I should have taken out the Yakuza earlier. Oh, these guys are encircled. That's really good. Destroy six divisions. King of Simon City has fallen. Great. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to delay the war between me and the NCR. It's just, I have to. Disturbing reports, we received reports of the Enclave Division using unjustified force against a Wastelander settlement. The division in question is one we accepted into a fold recently. They filed an after-action report that mentioned retaliating against smaller arms fire first. Small arms fire, but when pressed, admitted to have received no more than thrown rocks. Uh, yeah, I need as many divisions as humanly possible because the war against the Yakuza is going to be a little bit difficult, to say the least. Alright, come on, just kill these guys off. Just push them in there. Thank God. That took way too long. I need those factories, baby. Give me those bobies. Those bobies. Those babies. Do that. And go ahead and plan some outposts. Ooh, actually. Do that. And then do, 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 do. And dig the hell in into the ground. How many more days do we got? Okay, we got quite a few days. Uh, for this... Hmm. Hmm, there goes my tea. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to spend my political power to postpone the war with the bear. And then really focus on the Yakuza. Hmm. Gotta love tea. We got the Department of Defense. 214 political power is quite a bit now, but it, I have to do it. Especially in preparation for this war with these guys. Ah, uh, this is going to be difficult. This is really going to be difficult. Um, they don't have a lot of manpower. They have quite a few divisions, but as long as we're defending, we should be okay, I think. But I think we're going to need some support equipment for this. So, give me some recon companies so I can put it on my infantry divisions. Uh, I want to reform general staff, but we can't do that. Mobilization speed, recovery rate, and division organization, or arms development. Power armor and infantry, infantry equipment production would be good. Home defense... Division, defense on core territory, and more stability. More population. That's not bad. Department of Homeland. Da, da, da. Uh, specialist training. This stuff is really good. Both of these are really good to get, as well as the home defense. For right now, before the war starts, draft American citizens in wartime. Oh, gearing up a war is going to be very, very important. Let's do this first. So we got a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but some time. Go ahead and click on this, because we still have one more thing where we can stop constructing buildings to uh, postpone the war with the NCR. Because even though I could go to war with them right now, I, I want to wait. I'm probably going to have to go to war with the Yakuza first. That's probably for the best. Uh, I, was, I was hoping that this wouldn't happen, but, you know, some things just happen because they do. Uh, we have... Actually, plenty of guns right now. I definitely need more power armor, so let's do that. We need a little bit more advanced technology, which I'll trade with these guys. Give me just a little bit more. Three power armor, almost four a week. The Wolf Brotherhood, clear one, out of city. Huh. Thomas Rimi Rim falls ill. That's fine. Just don't be ill for too long. We got hit and run done. Nice. Definitely do this for more power armor. Breakthrough shot stack, heart attack, and organization loss when moving. That's all right. Ancient Forest, USSR. The USSR is becoming kind of kind of big. Hmm. Interesting. The Mohawks. Who's winning down here in Long Island? It looks like 
nobody is. All right. Uh, but the Federation of New York is definitely the winner of this war so far against the New York Rockers. Oh, they canceled their Lendleys? Come on, man. I could use as much guns as possible. Nice. We get about half a power armor a day, which isn't bad, actually. 0.6 power armor a day. That's even better. Um... Ooh. Begin a scavenging program. Well, I could do that, but I... I think I'm going to save my political power for now, and the USSR just defeated another nation. Alright, arms development, very nice. Gearing up for war so I can produce more goods, thank you very much. So here's the plan. Oh my goodness. Great cons join the Commonwealth Gang of New York. That's a lot of people gone. Here is, is the plan. We're going to have to build. I'm going to have to defend a lot. Uh, actually, this is very scary, so move you guys over here. Uh, what, are we building things or not? Because we... Oh, we're going to need to build things. How many more days until they go to war with us? About 17. 17 days until we're at war with them. Uh, I don't know why you think one division can hold out. I know there's only three divisions and four divisions, and, but they're pretty darn injured. But, uh, yeah, we're going to need some more forts. Pretty darn quickly. And I'm going to need these divisions as fast as possible. This is not going to go very well for us. So... Anyways, um, you know what? We might as well end the episode here. Next time, they're going to go to war with us in about, oh, tomorrow. So, I think that's a good place to end today's episode. So, what did we do? We expanded the Enclave. We took more factories. We took a little bit more uh, land, which was good for us. We have been saving up our political power because the Yakuza, the Japanese in former Nevada territory, has wanted to go to war with us with up to 30 divisions. Oh, my goodness. And there's been a lot of things going on on the East Coast that... The Federation of New York is actually doing pretty darn well. The USSR is coming back alive. The New Georgia Barbarians, whoever they are, or people, are beating the crap out of the Nuclear Patriots. Wow, they're out of manpower. And lastly, the Arroyo people are actually beating back the Western Brotherhood. What the heck is going on in this game? But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow when we go to war with the Japanese and potentially the NCR. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.